All right, guys, Darren from FBA Elite, and welcome back to another video. So in this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at customer returns, or specifically one area or one term and condition within customer returns, which I'm sure many sellers will find uh, probably quite shocking, unless you're obviously you're already aware of this. Um, it's something that I have been aware of, but haven't really paid a huge amount of attention to, but there was a post on the FBA Elite forums this week um, that reminded me that it's something that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, before I get into that, I just wanna say a big thank you to everyone that is continuing to support the channel, that is subscribed to the channel, and that watches these videos every single week. You know, we've got nearly 13,000 subscribers. Um, every video that I release on a Friday now gets, but generally speaking, between one to 2,000 views in its first week. So a huge thank you to all of you guys because you guys watching and commenting and interacting with the videos, that is what makes me want to make more videos and also provide things like the FBA Elite community. So a big thank you to everyone that has continued to support the channel. Also, how are you guys all doing? You know, I've spoken to a number of people this week um, and I was quite surprised to see how many people were feeling the same. You know, many, many people are really feeling this most recent lockdown. Now, I don't know where you are in the world at the moment, and I'm sure regardless of where you are, there's probably some kind of restriction or lockdown in place on your freedom. Um, in the UK, we're on our third lockdown in less than a year, and this one has is gonna be the longest so far. Um, and I think the first one we had last year was kind of almost not exciting, it was a novelty. We had lots of free time, lots of people working from home, um, so I think the first lockdown, a lot of us were okay. The second lockdown, um, to be honest, I don't think many people paid attention to the second lockdown in November. But this most recent lockdown, I think it's starting to get to people and everyone I speak to seems to be struggling a little bit. So I just wanna make sure you guys are okay. And if you are struggling, just reach out to some people, reach out to your friends, reach out to your family. I found the biggest thing is isolation. So if you are isolated, just try and reach out to people, just speaking to people. Um, I find when I'm out and about like walking the dog, just stopping to speak to someone uh, from a social distance, of course, um, just makes the world of difference. So um, if you wanna speak to me, head over to the FBA Elite forums or drop a comment on this video, but don't go through this alone. It's a tough time for many people and I know other people have experienced things even worse um, over the last year, but just don't feel like you um, have to hide if you are struggling yourself. Reach out to different people and that will help. Um, but I've gone off on a little bit of a tangent here. Let me just go back to this week's video. So like I say, this come back to mind because someone had posted in one of the FBA Elite forums, uh, which I believe was the general FBA chat. And it was earlier this month, I think. Uh, so let's go back a couple of pages. Where are we? There we go. Item damaged by customer. So this post was from Patricia and she says, hello fellow Amazon sellers. I'd like to understand why Amazon refunds customers for items they have damaged themselves. I was reviewing my return reports and found out in the last 15 days, I had four returns that say unsellable condition damaged by customer. Yet Amazon have fully refunded the customer. Um, and Patricia raises a very, very good point, and this is actually Amazon's uh, policy on this. So this is their official terms um, and conditions for their returns. So if you do want to read through this, by all means, pause the video and take a read through. But the bit that we want to look at is down here. It says, Amazon does not accept responsibility nor reimburse for returned items that are damaged by a customer. So if a customer damages your product and returns it to Amazon, that's it, you lose out. I mean, on the sort of stuff we sell, where most people who are selling on Amazon are probably paying uh, 10 pound or less to source their product, if a product does get damaged, it's not the end of the world and we just see a kind of part and parcel of doing business. But if you're selling high value stuff, you know, if you're selling something that costs 100 pound or 200 pound, this sort of thing can make a huge, huge impact on your business. So I want you guys to be aware of this. Unfortunately, there isn't a huge amount you can do about this if you do use FBA. As like I said, this is part of their terms. So by signing up to FBA, we accept these terms. Now I looked through my returns for the past year earlier, and thankfully there weren't that many that had been damaged by a customer. Um, but still, I still think it's kind of wrong if I go through the full story of what happens when someone buys a product for FBA, so a customer buys the product, that money is then credited to the seller's account. 
Now, as part of that money, that also covers postage, or Amazon will call it the FBA fee or the fulfillment fee. There's also the referral fee, which is what Amazon charge you as uh, like a 15, it's usually 15% as well on top of the fulfillment fee. Now, if the customer chooses to return that product and they choose the uh, right reasons, for example, if they say the product is defective, then you also, as a seller, will be debited for the return postage cost as well. So it could quite possibly be the situation where you sell a product on Amazon, you have to fork up the postage to actually send out in the first place, you pay the referral fee, but that will get refunded if the item is returned. If the customer chooses the right or the wrong reason from a seller's perspective to return it, you'll also pay the return postage. And then if the customer damages it, when that product comes back, Amazon will not reimburse you and you'll lose the cost of the product as well. So you lose the cost of the product and two lots of postage or one lot of postage plus the FBA fees. So it is quite a, a sucky situation for us sellers and it's something that I wanted you guys to be aware of. Um, there's not a huge amount more I can say about it, but I thought it was important enough to have its own video and that's why I've done this video today. Um, so hopefully you guys have found that useful. And if you wanna see more videos from me, hopefully you'll consider subscribing to the channel. And if you did find this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a moment, scroll down, hit that like button. It does make a big, big difference. And if you are feeling lonely or if you want to discuss Amazon FBA with myself and over 2,000 other people, go to fbaelite.com, sign up. It's completely free. We've got forums for all areas of Amazon FBA, as well as um, exclusive discounts and resources and exclusive videos there, as you can see. So come and check it out. It's completely free. And I'll see you guys on the forums.